President, ladies and gentlemen, I have very great pleasure in officially opening this new factory, the starting point of a new Australian venture. I should like to congratulate Mr. Parker, the managing director, a good Australian, and Mr. Power, the factory manager, on having together achieved quite remarkable results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is of interest to learn that this new factory, so conveniently located in the heart of Homebush, possesses 20 pressing machines of the most modern kind, which are capable of producing nearly 11 million records a year between them. This is an impressive figure, but the company have so little doubt that their output will be readily absorbed that they have set up this factory with a floor space of 50,000 square feet merely as a first unit and have made arrangements to expand. The company may well be proud of the up-to-dateness and efficiency of their equipment, since not only have they had the benefit of the very latest improvements from London in the manufacturing plant, but they have here the only recording plant in Australasia. In this connection, Mr. Parker has requested me to ask Lady de Cher and Mr. De Cher to come out to the factory at some time convenient to themselves so that they may each make a record. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this will be an interesting memento of their visit. What is of a special interest and importance we must all feel is that this enterprise is backed entirely by British capital. <laughs> the sum involved being a hundred thousand pounds by the linking up of industrial concerns throughout the empire, we forge ever stronger links, binding us together all over the world. Furthermore, by establishing this new factory, in which all measures have been taken to ensure that the products will be fully equal to those manufactured in Columbia factories in other countries, the company are taking another step forward in the development of Australian industries. For the factory will shortly be employing 350 highly trained Australian workmen. Their work is extremely specialized and one of its two branches has never been attempted before in Australasia. It is obvious, therefore, even to the most casual observer, that this undertaking is to be regarded as something more than a commercial one. The interest shown in it by the Australian Made Preference League, several of whose officials and members are present today, and the larger number of representative Australians interested in the development of, the Aus of Australian music is a happy augury for its success. Again, permit me to offer my hearty congratulations on the splendid enterprise shown by the Columbia Graphophone Company in establishing this great industry, and I have much pleasure in officially declaring the factory open. <laughs> 